Okay, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply liquid iron and my favourite way to do it. I did do a video ages ago on iron chelate and talked about it. Now I did that with the Hortex sprayer. Now I recommend you don't do it with the Hortex sprayer. The reason I did it in that video was because I was sort of doing a bit of a test run with it to see if I could get results with it. You can, but you get a better result with a knapsack. So let's just get into it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip video. Alrighty, so for the guys that are new to the channel, just so you guys know what's going on in this yard, this seeded lawn that I've got just here is only two months old. I think it's today actually, today or tomorrow. Tomorrow it's two months old, so a dang, it's looking pretty good, eh? Now I have overseeded it like three or four times since I put the lawn in, but just have a squeeze at that girlfriend. Looking good. And up the side here, going pretty well. Now, the, those bare spots that I did have down here as well. It's nearly filled in. See that? All that seed's now germinated and that will naturally thicken up. We had one of the bare spot over here, just there. So yeah, all in all, it is looking pretty good. Really, really happy with how it's going. Now, I won't be overseeding any more times because we're getting close to frosts and little seedlings don't like frost. Let me just show you a shot of the lawn under my feet because it looks pretty good, nice and thick. See how thick that is mate? Oh, so who good? I'm really excited about how thick this lawn is. Now that is the reason I overseed this lawn continuously because I wanted to get it to that thickness. So it is that thick absolutely everywhere now apart from those bare spots that I just showed you. So mate, so happy with it. 60 days in basically, 65 days, whatever it is. Whatever two months is, depends on the month too and how long the month is. You guys know that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. Perennial ryegrass is the grass type put down, SR4650 from Advanced Seed. Check those guys out on Instagram, Advanced Seed. That's the cultivar that I've got there and I'm loving it. It's got an awesome colour. Now the reason I'm doing a video on liquid iron today is just because I'm applying some because I'm trying to get rid of those really light looking patches in the lawn. Now if you can see in the background, there's a few light patches throughout and that's just the new seed that's come up. So I'm just going to put some liquid iron out to match the colour of the rest of the lawn. I'll just show you those patches as close up. You can see there's just a couple of spots here and there and everywhere. They're just a little bit lighter and you can just see it all through here as well. So yeah, that's just the new growth. So I have done a video previously on iron and iron chelate and telling you guys what's involved with it and how it works, etc. So I'll just give you a quick overview. I won't go really in depth with it, but basically chelated iron is really quickly taken up through the um, actual leaf of your grass plant. So it's a foliar feed, so no need to water it in. You just spray it on top and let it do its magic. So basically, iron is a micronutrient and it's really gonna help the green up of your lawns. Putting out some iron is just a good way to really make your lawn stand out in your neighborhood and really make it just pop and just, you know, just make your neighbors a little bit jealous. So we're gonna apply some of that today. So today is Wednesday the 2nd of May. This year's getting away too quick. And I'll show you guys the results probably on Saturday morning. I'll just quickly put a quick shot in before I edit the video together. And you guys will be able to see the result from a couple of days. Now when you are applying iron to your lawn, I recommend getting a product that's actually a professional product, not something from Bunnings like I used in the previous video as well, just because you're gonna get better results. The stuff from Bunnings is going to work, but look at getting something from the guys at either Globe Growing Solutions, New Turf, go to Lawn Pride Australia. There's so many guys that sell awesome liquid iron products. So when you are using this product, make sure you don't actually use too much of it. Always look at the label and make sure you follow the label because it can make your lawn look a dirty, nasty, sort of a brownie gray sort of a color when you actually put too much iron down. Now, you have to really go over the top to actually get it looking that color. But just make sure you follow the rates on there. You can just sort of push a little bit, but just don't go too nuts. Now, a lot of people ask me all the time, how often can you apply liquid iron now you can get pretty keen with it and apply it once a week if you like you're going to get results every time you use it i'd probably do it every two to three weeks you don't want to be just applying it all the time because you know it's just getting a bit over the top if you're applying iron that much i'll show you guys what product i'm using today you would have seen it last week's video as well when i was talking about all the different products that I actually have in my shed now when applying this product you can actually apply it straight after you've mown 
or if you want to mow after you've applied it, you have to wait at least six hours. I generally recommend you apply it in the afternoon um, and then you mow the next day. Don't, you can apply it in the morning, then mow in the afternoon, but I always recommend leaving it on the leaf as long as you can. But you know, the other week I did, I mowed about four hours after I did it and I still got good results. So I'm going against what I just said then, but you know, I just recommend if you want the best results possible, apply it after you've mown or wait at least six hours or overnight until you actually mow your lawn. Because it is a foliar feed, so it's gonna come down and translocate through the actual leaf of the plant and go down into the plant like that. So if you're top chopping a bit off, it's gonna actually disrupt that and you're not gonna get as a good a result. Anyhow, if you have any more questions on that, ask me in the comments below. Check out my previous video that I did on it because I talk a bit more in depth about how it all works, etc. Just don't apply it with a Hortex sprayer like I did in that video. Remember, that was a test run. But anyway, let's get into it and let's apply it, hey? Into the shed we go. Alrighty. So. There it is. So if we flick this sucker around. We can see here, the application rate is 200 mil per 100 square meters. So the minimum dilution is 1 in 20. So if you had 20 litres of water, you make sure you put in 1 litre as the dilution. So that's just your ratio. Hey there. So we've got our liquid ion just here. So a quick little tip for you guys as well is when you've got liquid fertiliser as well, you can actually apply it alongside your liquid fertiliser. Today I'm going to be applying with my seaweed secrets from the plant doctor just here just because I can do it at the same time, so why not? Now remember with Plant Doctor as well, they've actually been kind enough to give me a little discount code for you guys. It is under lawn, yeah, oh, that's pretty easy to remember. It's under lawn tips, so just type in lawn tips when you go to the checkout, and you get yourself a little discount when you make some orders from them as well. But anyway, I'm gonna be using the Seaweed Secrets, the Liquid Iron, and I'm gonna be putting some stimulizer in there as well. Like, I'm gonna put in like 10 mil in the top of it, just to add to the mixture, to give a bit of a, Turbo boost. Now remember, I always like to fill up my knapsack, and you guys should always like to as well. <laughs> fill up your knapsack at least up to the three quarter line, put your chemical in, and then fill up the rest of the way with water, just so you avoid all that bubbly bubbles that get in your actual knapsack. So, so fill that bad boy up. Mmm, delicious. So let's mix our stuff in there. So I'm doing seaweed secrets at 100 mil per 100 square meters. So I've got about three, 350 square meters. So I'm gonna go 350 mil. Looks like Coke. Next we'll put in our 10 mil of stimulizer. That's 10 mil. And then our secret weapon, liquid iron. Now be careful pouring this stuff out as well. Um, put a rag underneath if you like, or be a loose cannon like me and just pour it out on the concrete and risk it for the biscuit. Because it does stain stuff like crazy. And then just pour it in with precision. And last step, just fill up the rest of it. And then give it a good mix. Get either like a little stick to agitate it, or a bit of pipe or something, or you can just give it a good shake with your shake skills. Now, if you've never used a knapsack before, this is for guys, because people always ask me how to calibrate them. I'm not going to get into the technical details of it, because when I first used my knapsack, I actually just did this the first time I did it. I filled it up all the way with water, just water, no chemical or anything, and walked across the yard at normal walking pace to see how much water would come out. And then you just adjust your pace of walking to how much you need to go out over the whole yard. So, you know, 15 litres for me gets me across 300 square meters with my walking pace. Well, a bit lower than my, a bit slower than my walking pace, but you know, around about that. Now, try and avoid as much overlap as you can. Sometimes you just can't help it, but try not to miss any spots as well. If you're not confident with it, go in two directions if you haven't done it before, just so you get a nice even coverage. But I like to only go in one direction with my knapsack because, you know, it just takes absolutely ages to do it. So if you're good at it, go one direction. If you're a newbie or you just find you don't get even coverages, just go two directions until you get it perfected. Alrighty, let's do it. Alrighty, all done. So always make sure when you finish, I always say this, give your knapsack a triple rinse and flush all the stuff out of there, especially when using iron because it's going to stain your knapsack like crazy. So 
give it a good wash and also make sure you apply it before rain is coming so you don't want any water on it for at least six hours I'd push it for 24 hours now it's not gonna rain it's just cloud in the background but it'd be kind of sad if it did rain but it's not gonna that's about it for the moment I'm gonna quickly flip now to a couple of days from now and you guys are gonna see the results I'll have some before and after photos so let's just flip to Saturday hey so it's now Saturday a morning and uh, I'm still in my jammies because you know it's morning time on a Saturday videos gonna be out soon but basically it has definitely greened up. I don't know how easy it is to tell on camera how easily it's, how easily how well it's actually greened up, but I tell you what, definitely greened up. There's still a couple of light green patches where that seed is. I mean, it's hard to get your seed to actually um, green up quite a bit, and the chlorophyll being in there nice and thick because you know the leaf is a lot thinner as well, so it's not going to be have as much chlorophyll in there. So you know it's not going to be as green as the rest of the lawn. But it is hard to see on camera. I'll put a couple of photos up just now so you can actually see the differences and hopefully you can see it in those photos there. It's always hard to tell when the sun's over in that direction well so we might have a walk over here and just see if you can see how much darker it actually is. Look that boy. Mm. But as I said, really hard for you guys to see on camera, but it really does make a massive difference. Now, I did go a bit of a lower rate with that liquid iron. You can go heavier than that, and you'll see even, even darker green up as well, but I just love it, man. It's just such a cool tool to make your yard just go and pop out in front of, you know, everyone else's yard in your neighborhood. Love it. All right, just at the front now. Let's have a squeeze it. Mmm, looking good. Now today I'm actually going to be dropping the light yard down to about 15 mil as well, the grass, sorry. So, it's going to be interesting to see how it looks afterwards, so. Yeah, I might post some photos on Facebook of that as well when I drop it into 15 mil. Remember it's at 20 mil at the moment, so 15 mil. It's going to look a bit different, but I'm excited to see how it looks, but yeah. Looking good after that liquid iron. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Now, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you enjoyed my videos, like this video if you learned something new and if you enjoyed it and you have a good week. Check out my fully sick uh, slippers me. Woolies style. Oh yeah. Styling. Look at those pants too. <laughs>